hello everyone and welcome back to another video in this video you will learn how to host your discord bot 24 7 online basically in this tutorial i'll teach you guys how to use this disk cloud to basically keep your bot online 24 7 um as i said before we will be using this cloud so make sure to go to their official website which is discloudbot.com and once you are here make sure to set the language to english if you don't know portuguese if you know portuguese then you can keep it as it is but i don't know that so i'll just set it as english for me i have already done that but yeah after that what you want to do is make sure you have your bot ready like the code and everything like for me i have everything ready over here i'll just use a basic ping pong bot that i've just created for this tutorial uh, to demonstrate how things will be working so yeah at first what you want to do is uh, click on enter so once you click on enter um, make sure that you log in with your github because they will be soon removing the discord login option but still I'll use login with discord for this tutorial because I think I forgot my password for my github but yeah anyways I'll click on login and then i click on authorize once i have done that it's gonna redirect me to its website and it will also make me join their official discord server so don't leave it i would suggest that but it's up to you um you can actually host your discord bot through their discord server as well but for this tutorial i'll just use their website um and once you have the screen just click on add app and once you do that make sure to like upload your discord bot files over here but before you do that make sure you have a discloud.config file and the way you do that is make sure to like just have a discloud um discloud function discloud.config file you must have that and the purpose of it is to basically you know they just need to know if it's 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 the bot to identify it everything but yeah the way you create it once you click on this click here it will redirect you to this new page where once again you'll have to set it to english and once you do that it will reload and then uh if it like uh takes you away from that this cloud dot config page or tab just scroll down a little bit and you will see it once again so I'll just click on this and then um, you'll see this example for bot so what you want to do is just copy this um, once you copy it head over to your um, text editor or the um, thing you use to write your code uh, the IDE that is I'll just create a new file over here name it this cloud config and once you do that uh, let me just check if I did it correctly this cloud config yes I did it perfectly um, in this dot config file I'll just paste everything and then I'll name change the name of my bot to whatever I had which is one life and then you can set a image for it from over here but I won't really do any of that but after that you're basically done what you want to do is create a zip file for this so um, what you want to do is just select all of these but you don't have to select node modules just select all of these right click and click on compress to zip if you don't see that you should see something similar to make your zip file but yeah I'll leave that up to you if you want a tutorial on that you can just leave a comment below so I'll name it bot.zip whoops but yeah there it is I'll name it bot.zip and then I'll drop it over here so I'll just drag and drop once you do that you will see that it's doing its thing it's done 60% it basically is doing what it needs to do so while it is doing what it does I'll just invite my bot to my discord server the way you do that is going over to OAuth and then clicking on URL generator once you go over here click on this bot checkbox and once you do that you'll see this bot permissions just click the permissions you want for me I'll just check on administrator and then you'll see this URL just copy it and then paste it once you paste that you'll see it's trying to 
authorized to a new ser uh, authorized to a server that you want to add so just select it I only have one server so I'll just keep it as it is and then click continue and click authorize and it might ask you to do a captcha so just do it for me it's asking me so I'll do it really quickly it's probably gonna fail there it is it failed and I will once again see if I'm missing anything I don't think so but yeah there it is once you do the capture and everything you are basically done you'll see that your bot is over here and in the meantime we can see that um, this cloud did whatever it wanted to do and our it's done it's showing you this page and you see this green dot over here which means that your bot is online so as you can see that it's actually online here as well so just make sure that to keep using your bot just keep it alive just um, do a bunch of commands if you want to just do it when you can when you're free just try to keep activity or else it's just gonna deem it as like no it's an inactive bot and we're gonna shut it down so then it will go ahead and stop hosting it so you'll just have to do uh, I think you'll just have to come over here and then you know reset everything just yeah start application what you want to do is just click on the start application and then it's gonna do um, the thing it does and then it's gonna put your bot back online once again that is if it goes offline that is but yeah with I hope that this tutorial was easy and followable for you I hope that you like the tutorial and it was helpful if it was make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care everybody.